I'll, I'll go back to like what happens when the series like go going out. Uh, we're back on again. Yeah. So what I managed to create was like a CD distribution system where all these CDs went throughout. Uh, there are 417 libraries in Scotland. In Scotland, we have a population of five million people, and I managed to cover like about 80 percent of the libraries. So that's 80 percent of five million people can get access to these CDs, and that's only like 400 CDs. That's that's hardly anything. The the price, the total price for me sending out all those CDs to all the libraries in Scotland was five hundred pounds. So was that eight hundred dollars? Eight hundred dollars for five million people. That's a pretty good deal, really. The and that all these people would be able to get access to this program. And they don't need broadband. They don't need to spend. Uh, a lot of money getting all this uh, broadband uh, for a subscription for a whole year. And so if I take that back to the Digital Inclusion Conference, uh, the, really the, the really nice story that I like about this goes back to these pigeon races. And what happens is there was a uh, a couple that were, were learning to use the computer. There's an older couple, and uh, she, uh, they were married, and she managed to, uh, she really got into the idea of using the computer. She was doing her email, and she did a little bit of word processing, but her husband was kind of sitting back and not really wanting to join in. Seems to be quite a normal thing, that, I don't know why. Uh, but after several weeks of going along to this uh, these classes. He suddenly looked, kind of looked around at the teacher and uh, they were doing a word process document and he said, can I put a pigeon on that document? And the teacher said, yes, you can put a pigeon on that document. And so she showed him how to put a pigeon. Use an open office to put a little drawing of a pigeon on top. And so he put a pigeon on to a letter and he was the treasurer of the local pigeon fanciers club and what he did was he found that he could actually write letters to all the other pigeon fanciers or pigeon racers and then he found out how to use the spreadsheet because he was the treasurer and he found out that he could do that really really easily instead of doing it all by hand and that is what free software can do, because they weren't going to go and buy an expensive software package, but they had this for free. And he used it to create a community about pigeon fanciers. And that's so, strangely enough, I was sending out all these CDs to, throughout Scotland, and I know that somewhere out there, there's a little group of Pigeon fanciers who will be able to use that software. And the, but there's lots of other different communities that are, uh, which are very beneficial to uh, our society. You know, there's uh, old age pensioners, there's uh, volunteer groups, kids groups. It, it goes on and on and on. And this is just something which is wonderful. When I see the faces of I show them open office and I show, see the faces of people going, what, you can copy this? For free? Legally? Can I, and I give them that and they see it working and it's good and they, they love it. You know, if it's whichever language, it's in Danish, it's in German, great. So they, they really, really like it and they get very enthusiastic about it. And that's when I get even more enthusiastic. So after putting out these CDs throughout Scotland and getting them on the online catalogue in Edinburgh because you can go onto the web, you can go into the online catalogue for Edinburgh libraries and there it is, Open Office 1.1 and that was when I decided to donate the last 3,500 CDs to libraries throughout the whole of the UK to be able to actually get them uh, 
it would be very time consuming for me to get them into all the libraries. So I just got the publicity going and gave them the choice because libraries have a choice to, to lend them out or not. Something very new and uh, a lot of people are still thinking about if they're going to do it. But it's there and uh, if there's 4,150 public libraries in the whole of the UK, population 56 million people, the total price that I paid to get those libraries out was something in the region of about uh, £3,000. So that would be about $5,000. And uh, if you think about it, 56 million people covered by 4,150 public libraries. I think that's a very good deal. And uh, if the my government doesn't realize that it's a good deal and that they have this distribution system available to them, I'd be quite disappointed, but I've got a funny feeling that they're starting to take notice now, which is nice.